In comparison, the tiger snake isn't considered as dangerous as the taipan, yet it accounts for far more bites than any other snake in Australia. This tiger snake is shedding its skin. The process, called sloughing, happens about five times a year. Immature snakes slough as they grow, but in adults it occurs to replace damaged and worn skin. Not bad, not bad, but not good enough. <laughs> The eastern tiger snake is found from the southeastern corner of Queensland down through New South Wales and most of Victoria and up into South Australia, the most densely populated corner of the continent. This brings it into contact with humans far more often than most snakes. When it does come into contact with us, it's unlikely to flee. If you do happen to find a snake in a building, discretion is the better part of valour. Don't try to remove it, just give it a wide berth and it will usually go out the way it came in. An overexcited snake is more likely to attack, so if it comes towards you, simply move quietly out the way. It's probably just curious or even lost. This is a Chapel Island tiger snake. Its darker colour is due to its cold habitat in the Bass Strait. When it feeds, it works its jaws in a chewing motion. The fangs are very small, but the venom is extremely potent. By injecting large amounts, the venom quickly begins the process of breaking down the food. The fangs also aid in the act of swallowing. The snake literally walks along its victim, forcing it down its throat. <laughs> 